If you closed out your MySQL workbench, just start that program. And once you do that, you should see something like this, which, which says local instance 3306 or whatever your local instance is. So simply click on it. And once you click on it, this workbench will open. I have already added some comments here so that you remember what the data types are because in this video we are going to create a database and we are going to create a table. So let's start with the database because that's where we do not have to specify uh, the, these data types. So the database that we are going to create is called customer DB. So I'm going to say use the keyword create database and then we want to specify the name. So I'm going to call it customer db okay and once i do that i am going to run this command so let's run it and as you can see it says one row has is affected now if you want to take a look at this you want to confirm whether a customer db was created or not you can simply click on the schema tab so when i click here right now i only see one database sys which came when we installed the mysql uh, relational database system but I can simply refresh this and when I refresh this I see my customer DB so the next step is to create a table now when we create a table we have to specify what database we want to create that table in as you can see we have two databases one is the customer DB and the second one is the sys so let's say if we say we want to create a customer table how does MySQL know which database it should create the table in. So what we'll do is I'm just going to delete this command I'm, and I'm going to use a command called use. It's a keyword called use and specify this use customer DB and I'm going to enter a semicolon and click on run. Now when I, when I do this, MySQL knows, okay, the tables that I'm going to create these tables are going to be created inside the customer db and you should see a table on your screen this is the table that we are going to create it has customer id it has name address city postal code and country so let's start creating this table so as you remember the command to create table is we need to start with a keyword create then i need to tell mysql what i'm creating so i'm going to say create table and then I need to give it a name. So let's just give it a generic name customer. And then I need to specify the columns and the data types. Okay. So I'm going to open and close these brackets. And inside these brackets, I'm going to specify the columns. So as you can see, the columns are customer ID. This is going to be an int and this is going to be a primary key as well. The next is going to be name. So name is going to be varchar. So I'm going to say varchar and I believe the length of the name should not exceed 100 characters. So I'm going to specify that. The next is going to be address. So I'm going to say address. Again, this is going to be varchar because this is text information. So varchar and let's just give it 250. Then it's going to be city. Again, it's going to be varchar let's make this 50 and then there's going to be postal code i'm going to give this varchar it's it, it is a number but i can see for canada uh, it's a combination of number and letter so i'm going to instead of making it an int i'm going to uh, specify the data type as varchar again i'm going to do this maybe let's do 20 just to be on the safe side uh, and then finally we have country and I can do varchar uh, let's do 50 again and that's it right so once you do this and you run the command you run this command the customer table will be created inside the customer database so let's let's run this and see what happens so I ran this and as you can see it says create table customer ID int has been created okay now again if i go here and i select on tables i'm not going to see anything so what i want to do is i want to hit refresh now when i hit refresh i see this triangle i can expand this and now i can see that the customer table has been created so i can go here and click on expand 
And now I can see the columns. I just want to verify that the columns were, cre were created correctly. So I'm going to expand this. And as you can see, customer ID, name, address, city, postal code, and country. There's no data inside this. So let's now try to add, we'll start by adding one row of data and then I'll show you how to add multiple rows into this table. Let's insert data into this table. So the insert command is again fairly simple. It uses a command or a keyword called insert, right? So remember when we created a table, we, we required a keyword called create. Now we are inserting data. So it requires a keyword insert. Insert, where are we inserting this, right? Where are we inserting these records? So insert into, okay? Then you specify the table name. Then you use values and then you specify the values. That's all there is. So let's enter one record and then I'll show you uh, and then you'll see how insert works. Okay. So you can see the, the, uh, the data or the table on your screen. So please follow along. So I'm going to type in insert into the name of my table is customer, not customer DB. It is customer. Okay. So insert into customer. I'm going to say values and I'm going to open these brackets and now I'm going to start entering these values. So first is one comma Ada keys. And because this is in text, we need to enter this in quotes. Okay. So I'm going to type in Ada keys comma, and then I need to enter the address. So let's do that. Then I need to enter the city. So I'm going to do that again. And then I need to enter the postal code. And then finally, I need to enter the country. Okay. And now I can simply run this command. So let's run this and you can see that one row was one row was impacted or one row was affected, which means that we were successfully able to add a row to our table. Let's do this again. Okay. So let's add another row. I'm going to say customer ID is true and I'm going to paste this information here. Then I'm going to paste the address. Then I'm going to paste the city. And I hope you are following with me. Make sure that you have opened MySQL and you are typing this as I'm typing this uh, on my laptop. All right. Then comes the zip code and then we have the country which is United States. Awesome. Now I'm going to run this again. And there you go. I have two rows of data added to my table. So I can simply refresh this. Okay. Uh, we'll look at this, the select command, but I want to show you, I want to show you visually that two rows of records were uh, added into this table. So let's do select star from customer and I'm going to hit run. And you can see that these two rows were inserted. Now we have about 15, 16 rows of records. Uh, so I want to show you how you can enter multiple rows with one command. All right. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can insert multiple rows of data. So as you can see, we have about 15 rows. And in the previous video, we inserted two records, Ada and Janet in this customer table. So I don't want to do this 13 more times, right? So uh, I want to show you a way where we can insert these 13 rows with one single command. And the command is this again, it's very similar to the previous command, but here, what we are saying is you want to insert. So, use the keyword insert into 
you'll use a table name which is going to be the customer and then you specify the column list right so you specify customer id name address city postal code and country and then you specify these values where each uh, row has you know multiple values so it's it's easier to explain this with an example so let's actually start writing the sql code so again i'm going to type an insert into the table name which is going to be customer and now i'm going to specify the list of columns so the list of columns will be customer id name address city postal code country okay and then i'm going to say values and now i can start specifying these values so i have a notepad where i have already cleaned up these values uh, so let me copy this controls uh, so i can do this comma and i can enter this and go here and that should do it so let's run this and see what we get as you can see we have two rows affected so again let's do a select star command and see if we have four rows in our table okay there you go we have four rows in this table so i'm going to go ahead and insert all the remaining records feel free to do so i would highly recommend if you can practice inserting the rows it doesn't matter you can practice one row at a time or you can practice multiple rows at a time you have both options but the important thing for you will be to practice inserting data into this table also the table the data that you insert does not have to match exactly with the table it will be ideal if it matches with uh, the data that you see on the screen because you'll be able to follow along in the future videos all right so let's roll up our sleeves and start entering data